So far, we have been discussing about RL and RC circuits with impressed voltage sources. We did not discuss on the effect of the transients that may occur in the circuit while switching on or off the circuit. In this section, we shall explore what will be the nature of the transients when a steady state has been reached. For the analysis, we shall consider the example of a RL circuit. But whatever we discuss here is equally valid for RC or RLC circuits. Let us consider the differential equation that we wrote for a RL circuit which is connected to an AC source E0 cos omega t. The differential equation that we framed was L di over dt plus ri equal to E0 cos omega t. And we found the solution at the steady state as it equal to E0 over square root of r square plus omega square l square then cos omega t minus tan inverse omega l over r. The entire exercise that we performed to arrive at the solution for the current did not take into account the effect of transients. If we recall the circuit that we used for transient analysis, it essentially consists of a resistor, an inductor and a switch. As there are no impressed voltage sources, the differential equation that we framed to study the effect of transients was L di over dt plus ri equal to 0. And we got a exponentially decaying solution it equal to i0 e raised to minus r over l times t. If we are also considering the effect of transients in the circuit, then the solution of the current would be a superposition of equation number 2 and then equation number 4. Equation 2 will be known as a particular solution and then equation 4 will be known as a complementary solution. The new solution that we are considering that is a superposition of equation 2 and then equation 4 will be equally valid because we note that the right hand side of this equation that is equation number 3 is 0 and therefore it will not affect the equality in equation number 1. We noted that the transient which is determined by some initial conditions has a decaying component that is e rise to minus r divided by l multiplied by t. After some time t very much greater than l over r, the contribution to the new solution that we have written that is a superposition of 2 and 4 due to the transient component will vanish and essentially we will only be having the steady sinusoidal solution that is given by equation number 2. That is the oscillation in the circuit is entirely independent of the initial conditions and all the memory of the initial conditions is lost. Or at the steady state, we will only be having a current oscillation with a phase lag or phase lead with respect to the AC input.